Good morning and a happy Monday morning. Welcome to video number one. Really quickly, once again, there is no royal family video today due to uh, content. There are three videos. This is just video one. Now, jumping into this one, I told you guys that there was going to be something going on with this bag company. I told you people were going to dig in and they were going to find something and they did. So let's jump in and cover it, shall we? Let's go. Let's go back. I told you guys this was going to happen. So we remember this company that Meghan Markle has worn the purses. She claims it's the Meghan effect that anything that she wears, the company takes off and does well. And so she's invested. But remember, the people who own the company claim that it was a minority amount and they would not say how much she actually invested into the company. I want you to remember that these bags are extremely expensive. We're talking like $600, $700 per bag. And even, you know, and then it goes up from there. Ridiculous amounts of money. I myself get my bags at Walmart, Target, uh, Ross. Y yeah, no. Now, if you guys went back and looked at any of the articles, remember I showed you that they had been in all of these Harper's Bazaar, Elle, Vogue. Well, in 2019, in 2019, so this was five years ago, Vogue reported that this company had more than 1,400 women in Rwanda and said that they were receiving five to 700 times the national annual salary of Rwanda. That's what their website said, okay? The annual income was reported the year before, in 2018, as 780 US dollars a year. Now, keep in mind, this company has, you have labor, you have materials. Remember, it says on the on the website, they use only vegetable dyes. And then after these women weave these baskets, it's like one basket a week. Then the baskets are shipped to Sicily, where they're turned into handbags. Obviously, the artisans in Italy are being paid way more than the Rwandan weavers receive for their finished bags. Then the bags, of course, are then shipped to the United States to be sold. And this company also sells stuff like scarves and, you know, made in India and beach towels from Turkey. And these items are also shipped to the United States. So if you look at the numbers that they put up, they said that each person produces four baskets a month because it takes about four to seven days to complete a basket. So four baskets for 1,400 people weaving is 5,600 baskets per month, okay? So that's a lot. So that means that weavers earn about $80 a basket, okay? Then you have to import to Sicily and turn the baskets into a handbag with the high-end materials, right? Their website, by the way, says the exact same thing that the 2019 Vogue article says, that they employ over 1,400 Rwandan weavers. And again, they claim to pay five to 700 times more than national average, which means that each weaver earns for the year, $3,900. So use the low end range of that. $3,900, 1,400 weavers comes out to 5,460,000 just for the weavers. So the New York Times numbers say that they have about a million in revenue. How is that possible, especially when you consider that the owner and the company are being sued? I told you that eventually people were gonna start digging. The company and the owner of the company are being sued by American Express National Bank for non-payment of the credit card. That's right. So this woman, they filed suit in February of this year. The case is moving forward because she charged like $120,000 on this credit card and isn't paying the debt. Can somebody please explain to me how if this company has an annual income of $1 million a year, this woman is not paying her legal debt? I'm really concerned that Megan doesn't seem to do checks on these companies. It's just like, like I told you guys before with the coffee company, uh, female led, was owned half by a man, ethically sourced. The mushrooms came from a police state in China. Um, they found lead in the coffee. She didn't do her due diligence and it appears she didn't do it here either. YouTubers are able to dig up this information so could somebody please explain to me why Meghan Markle's team can't? Has anybody asked the ladies in Rwanda if they're actually being paid what this company claims that they're being paid? 
How do we know who's actually working on these purses in Italy? There's no telling who's working on these purses. What I'm seeing, and it's just me personally, is that she's a bad investor and she doesn't do her due diligence. Anyway, according to the paperwork, as you saw, this woman has defaulted on her corporate American Express card for over $120,000. So Megan usually puts in fifty dollars to $100,000 when she joins a company. So maybe she joined the company and this woman's going to take it and pay off her debt. A big thank you to this Reddit user, St. Megan Markle. If you guys don't look at Reddit, you should, because people put up some really interesting information. And what this person is saying is that each uh, bag comes with a note card. Well, we know how Megan is about her note cards. <laughs> the other thing is, Megan is, uh, she's not an influencer. She's a reverse influencer. Because people, when they realize that she's involved with the company, like these people, I, I was going to buy this bag, but now that Megan is involved, not interested. And somebody else said the same thing. And I feel the same way. If she's involved with something, I want nothing to do with it. So she's not an influencer. She's what I call a reverse influencer. Now, another interesting piece about these bags is they're supposed to be fancy and they're supposed to be inspirational and luxury and all this kind of stuff. And yet they have Amazon links. You can buy them on Amazon. So for me, that makes them cheap, basic, and boring. You guys know that there's something wrong when Megan claims that she's starting with a new startup company, the company that's been going for at least six years. And yet she's trying to take credit for any sales, any increase in sales. Anyway, now that everything is coming out, um, I don't think the bag is going to do well. I gotta be very honest with you. And the blind items are coming out, which appear to be spot on. So I don't know what to make about this, except she should have checked into this company a little better. I'm sure more information about this company and its owners are gonna pop up online any day. It's just gonna get worse. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for all notifications. Then go down into the description box where you'll find the link to video number two. Follow me over. You're not going to want to miss this next one. Let's go.